Another week, more hints and tips with me, Chrissy. And today we are looking at how to roll pastry. So here is our made pastry that we have taken out of the fridge and it's time to roll it. Now, the first hint and tip is that you need to make sure that your surface is nicely floured and also that you do a little sprinkling on top of your pastry and that you also flour your rolling pin. Don't put too much flour on because you will find that it dries the pastry out. Now the way to roll pastry is that you need to roll a little bit, providing equal pressure, and then you rotate, and then rotate. And this is how you keep your pastry in a perfect circle. So you keep just a little bit of pressure and then rotate, a little bit of pressure and then rotate, because we're obviously trying to put this into a circular tray. <laughs> So we've got our circle of pastry. It's not perfect, don't worry. We're only home cooks, we're not chefs. I'm going to carefully roll this pastry onto the rolling pin so that it doesn't stick. And I've got my tin, and then I'm just going to carefully roll it over onto my tin. Now, the thing that is really important to do is roll slightly bigger than the tin, and then carefully just press it down into the tin like so. So now, as you can see, I have the uh, pastry in the tin. I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to carefully cutting away from me. I'm going to go all the way round the tin to create a neat edge. Now, the important thing to do is to make sure that you now chill this into the fridge. because as you can see, it's perfectly set around the edges. However, if you put this straight into an oven, then you will find that the pastry will shrink. It's best to blind bake something like this before you put in any filling, because otherwise it will get soggy. So a bit of greaseproof paper and baking beans and pop it into the oven for 10 or 15 minutes until it is slightly dry. And then whack your filling in and you're ready to go. One final little hint and tip is if you are blind baking, I put some fork marks through my pastry dough because this helps stop the pastry rising. So I do still put my greaseproof paper and my baking beans over the top, but I find this is a little extra surefire way of ensuring that you don't get your pastry rising as you're blind baking. I hope that you found that useful. Don't forget, rolling pastry takes lots of patience and also lots of practice. So I hope that you enjoy it as part of Pastry Week and I'll see you soon for more videos.